everybody out there, my name is Dragnix. You may notice that from the last episode that we're a little bit different here, uh, a little bit further ahead than we might want to be. Um, I wasn't happy with the recording between in terms of audio and visual. Um, just something about it was not right. And then I think in a haste, I, before I did anything with it, I deleted it, which is stupid of me. So we're here and I'm doing a voiceover on this one as opposed to just the commentary during gameplay Mostly because of that fact that to, to give you guys that information. I want to be Are we broken? I think we're broken um, I want to make sure that you guys understand where, where I'm coming from and at least I died so we can start at the start of this level here um, so We we got into the water with this fish face spaceship we found or water ship spaceship something ship um the controls aren't exactly the greatest i also like the fact that it's telling me that i have knuckles and tails here when i don't have knuckles and tails at least not that i'm i'm aware of don't see him in the cockpit so yeah keep that in mind i don't know am i going up why are these rocks falling this vertically it seems like and they're just coming out of nowhere, man. We can? Uh, the one liners. It's so strong, Captain. We did it! My brain can't take no more of this. Exactly, and we're still alive. These guys again? Yeah, the voices come out, I understand. I know you don't want them. But they're here. And you can laugh at me for them. Okay, so. We got three of these things now. They want to kill us. With not the greatest the controls either. I mean, this is not fun. I mean, it's not horrible. But it's definitely not fun. Um, not a lot worse than the uh, that other water section one and there's no rings for me to try to get here so come on we did it. sweet we, did it. we can go now <laughs> ah now we can go all right hey, look We're long loading screen Let's see where so i cut that out next. that's what i've been hey, doing most of the time i bet you didn't expect me to be here huh <laughs> nope that's right because i do what i want how I want and when I He's a strong, independent woman who don't need no man? You're pretty far Wait, what? Crater Lake. Where's Hokey? That's... I'm my own man. I can do what I well, want. It, her name is Hokey? Like the Hokey Pokey? Do you turn yourself around? That's what it's all about? Isn't Barnacle a leech? Did G just call his wife a leech? Well, you get a problem. You, you got a major problem. Girls love those. <sighs> oh, okay, thank you. Thank you for that. I was just like, oh god, here we go. <laughs> Is that self referential to the new design? Like, you look like a lobster. I don't like you. You're old, like the old Sonic fans. You should be accepting of this new Knuckles and his new found personality. I'm not. I'm an old fart, apparently. What am I taking care of again? Click shell fragments. Oh. Because he can't get off his lazy butt and do it himself. Alright, cool. Alright, well, we had another crystal. That's good. I don't know how many more crystals we need to get. It's unclear. But... If it's anything like the rest of this game, it's it's going to be some random amount. Usually, it depends on the game. It really depends on the game and the genre. But one of the biggest rules that you'll notice in gaming is a game in number is a, a rule of threes, and I've mentioned it before. It's the point where the rule of threes is usually the good point where you hit the point where you know the character the the player is still getting something out of the game and out of the re re repetitive task however it's not overboard now that does change for games like mmos or you know you know resource heavy games but for other things like the three hits like the th three hits kind of thing it's more so the fact that you know after that fourth third hit 
it may see start to get boring. All right, I'm gonna pay here to upgrade this all right. to make a tower with a bounce pad. With that, with all the construction noises happening afterward, because that makes sense. Here's a bounce pad. I also like the fact that I did gave 15,000 metal scrap and got wood. Makes actually makes perfect sense. I don't know what you what anybody would assume otherwise. All right. Sonic, he can really move. Sonic, he's got that. Oh God. I. How would you have ever seen that? That one's a. That's a tricky one. I guess if you. If we, would you naturally fall? I don't know. That 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 one I don't I don't see I don't like the placement of that one. It's not that you're clever. I don't wouldn't. There's no indication for me to check there. I mean, you got to be clever about it. Like there, I might have seen the glow, maybe, possibly, but other than that, there was like nothing to tell me. You know, go over that way. Up. Oh, yep. Can I, can I? Yeah. Okay. So let's just let's just get this while we're here. Uh, waiting, waiting, waiting. All right. So, it's interesting though in the the, the, the that rule of threes is that you know that that's a common that's a common thing. So I mean, you want to keep you know you want to keep your player interested. I mean, that's why games aren't you know 30, 40, 50, 70 hours necessarily, and not all types of games. Granted, you have to have you got to cut it off at some point. I mean, there's no question you have to call, cut it off. But um, the, the one of the things that really bothers me about modern day games is when it tries to artificially um, put out that length in terms of okay we need to add more content to it but we're going to do the same thing over and over when again, again we will um, toast the against when it doesn't need it I mean I, I, I'll keep on port, uh, pointing the portal first portal first portal was just the right length it didn't overstay its welcome and you know it's it's love it was a great game now some people were like well it could have had more puzzles did it need it i don't think it needed it i don't think it needed it at all um but that's just me all right all right let's see what's going on here outside i think i need to go to that big one now but you know let me get some rings here. I haven't been over all the way over here yet. And I'm supposed to be collecting shells or something. Let's see here. Okay, there's shells in the ocean. Uh, but I, I noticed there's a bounce pad over here. Yeah. I don't know what where this goes. Oh, I do remember what I was doing here. Um, again, this is again a reminder. This is a voiceover. Um, I was trying to figure out where to go in terms of that um, yellow arrow. Oh, that yellow arrow. It's very hard to un see what's going on. Um, it's one of the problems with the maps in this game is the fact that there's no like obvious paths. And so right now I'm thinking on what I remember doing now is that I go up here thinking that there's maybe like a top portion in terms of, you know, a like mountain pass, but instead I find a crown, Found it. which is not worth anything. A treasure chest, which isn't glowing, which is odd. But yeah, I'm looking around. I'm like, I have no idea what's going on. I don't think I actually noticed that treasure chest at all when I was playing through because it wasn't glowing. Um, which is again odd. It's called for a spin dash. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's it's sort of pathetic. Um, okay. What am I doing now? Okay, so now yeah, there's this part. Okay. This is. I don't remember the it being that ring though. And now, and I think I know that I need to go get those uh, shells. 
It's re it's really weird to, to to do post commentary, especially when you're trying to remember what exactly was going on, and especially in a game like this, because my God, I there's just so so much confusion that that could take place. Um, it, it it's it's like trying to remember. Like, did I did I do that? There were so many times where you know you were running around like I don't know what's going on. Okay, so that's what that ring part was for. We're hydro dashing. <laughs> yes, we're hydro dashing. All right, so we're running on water and getting these shells that are mysteriously floating up into the air for some reason. So that's what these mines are it's supposed to be the, you know, obstacles in, in in here, but they're not really anywhere near an obstacle. Eh. All right, need to turn around. There we go. Uh, all right, there cool now you may also notice be noticing stuttering um now the thing is is that during this time i was pausing a lot um i was actually talking with a bunch of friends and playing through the game um in terms of you know on like a chat like on uh instant messenger uh, but you know so i pause the game a lot and i try to not keep those in if i can for you guys now I try to get that it down to the frame in terms of okay, so it doesn't stutter. Well, what the usually I can do that in terms of the image, but the sound, well, the sound still keeps playing, so it, you hear that like stutter of the music, um, which I wish I could deal with. I probably could have given enough time, but you know that that, that would take a long time because then that music has got to go somewhere. Um, it can't take over music that's already playing. You, you would basically be back at square one. So I'm not sure if I could deal with that in a very, very effective way. So I do apologize for that. Um, I wasn't expecting to be pausing as much as I was, but you know, it happens. I mean, especially, and especially when you, you're playing a game like this, where you're just like, okay, I, I need like human interaction. <laughs> I need some, inter I need some, like something to entertain me. Yes, yeah, so playing a game and I need something to entertain me. Uh, I'm in a rock. What is going on? I don't understand. Okay, sure. This game's camera is god awful. Uh, I mean, it is abysmal. Um, I mean, it does a job, I suppose, but sometimes it it, it doesn't have necessarily the good greatest of controls. Um, that's for sure. Sometimes it'll do th weird things to you that, you know, you're like, wait, why are you doing that on me? And, you know, a lot of cameras have that problem. It's really hard sometimes to get a camera in a perfect position, and especially when the perfect position is not necessarily the same for everybody. Um, some people like, you know, maybe a more vertical approach. Maybe people look like the FOV slider on um, shooters. It's like, you know, you, you may want a specific view or you may want a specific, you know, eye line of sight. Um, but so it's really it can be hard to program that um there are general good reason rules i mean you want to definitely keep it in you know towards the front of you you definitely want to try to focus on obstacles that the person is going to have um which can be hard in an open world obviously because it's based off your direction it's based off your movement um it's based off a lot of factors so don't get me wrong camera control is a huge issue in games and you can give control to an enemy or an enemy control to the user that could be even worse at times um because they may get frustrated because they may not understand where to put the camera oh, another glyph that i don't need yeah and i just skip over that part again i don't i don't think i ever equipped any of the other glyphs because like after the first one, that's the thing. So you have the nine choices of the glyphs at the start, and you were going to choose the one that you want the most, right? Okay, so you want that one the most. Then the next one is the next eight. Okay, but I chose the one that I wanted the most. And all these, and, and in terms of fighting, everyone plays that plays the same relatively. I mean, Tails is a little bit different because he's ranged a little bit, and everybody has a special attack, but none of those come into play with the um, abilities in terms of each character so it's not like you're gonna get really specific with the glyphs now I think I did at one point change up the glyphs just to see if there would be a huge difference between them and 
I don't think I saw him. I went completely the wrong way, didn't I? Oh man, in this playthrough I was, I was so lost. Again, compasses, guys. I mean, if you're gonna have a map, you need to put a compass on it. I mean, even if you have like a, a, a an, an item locator, like you know, like a a checkpoint locator, doesn't matter. People will need a reference point to look at, and the checkpoint can do that at times. But sometimes it's just better to say this is north, you know. Because the checkpoint indicator can't tell you that intimate detail on, like, okay, there's going to be a, a wall between you. Um, between you and your destination. Maybe some cam or some ones do it because they can detect that, okay, I, hold on a second, I need to go this way. But, um, not all. Especially not Sonic Boom. Uh, okay. And you see, like, there, like... It's hard to see where the path is. I, all I see is a huge forest, if I'm looking at the map, which obviously, ooh, Creeper Gorge. Now, if I remember this correctly too, I also lost footage of the Creeper Gorge portion of it. It's got a, a little bit different stuff with it. It's got some like, um, what do I remember about it? It's got some um, fauna in terms of uh, thorns and things like that, but it wasn't anything different. So I apologize, again, I'm gonna apologize right now for that. It seems, it, it will, you'll be missing a section. I don't think you'll be missing anything out. It is a little bit tougher than the rest of the game, but nothing, again, we've seen with this game, dying ain't a, ain't a problem. It's just not. So I think the next episode will be me taking on Eggman, if I remember correctly. Um, don't quote me on that. Um, because uh, uh, Eggman will be at the end of the platform or something like that, something silly like that. <sighs> so we're getting to the end here. So uh, thank you for watching this series. If you've been watching constantly, it really helps me out. Really, I really appreciate it. Um, I know you're probably not here for that part of the channel, but if you're watching, cool. So next time on Sonic Boom, I believe it'll be Eggman time. Hey, thanks for watching. If you have a chance, leave some feedback and comments below. If you like the video, hit that like button. And if you want more content like this, hit that subscribe button. This is Dragnix signing off, hoping that gaming brings as much fun to you as it does for me.